And today we have another new Tool Day Tuesday. Man, I cannot believe how fast the weeks fly by. But today, as you all know, is a day that we review unique tools, tools that help us around the garage, specifically tools that I use every day. And on the workbench today is two inspection cameras. If you don't know what inspection cameras are, that's okay, we're gonna talk about them. Uh, I will say both of these are from Harbor Freight. I've had this one for a while and I picked this one up the other day. It's kind of a, a greatly improved version. Uh, actually, these models are really good and both are being sold today in Harbor Freight. Uh, this one just has a little more bells and whistles and we'll talk about that. Uh, I do want to get it out of the way. I am not affiliated with Harbor Freight in any way, and I bought these inspection tools with my own money because, well, I use inspection tools and I needed them. Now, what is an inspection camera? Well, it's just that. It's a camera that you use to inspect things. Uh, these guys all kind of have one thing in common, and that is they have a really small camera on a very long, flexible stick, such as this one. This has a metal bendy stick with a nice rubber coating over the top of it so that you can stick it down into places that you normally can't get a good visual on. This will fit down into a spark plug hole so you can take a look at the inside of your cylinder walls to see if maybe they're scored or not, or maybe took a, take a look at the top of the piston to see what shape it's in. Uh, pretty much, if you need to take a look inside something and it has a hole big enough for this little teeny tiny camera, you can get a good look. And we're gonna try it out here in a second. Uh, this particular model is, again, Harbor Freight. It's a Syntec, and this model is 61839. Um, it's a pretty decent unit. I upgraded because the screen was a little small for me. Um, it's not terrible, but again, it's just a, a little small. We'll turn it on and show you. It does have a video output, so you can feed this to a larger screen if you would wish to. Uh, I find myself when I'm underneath the hood of a car, I, I really don't have screens available, so I need to be able to look at the back, and that's why I upgraded to the other model, which we'll talk about. Other than that, this unit has been great. It has a pretty cool camera. Uh, there are LEDs on the end of it, so you can light up what you're taking a look at, and you can also intensify that light remotely with the unit itself. Uh, these come with, both units actually come with the cable that lets you feed it to your video out, and they come with a little bag of tools, and these little tools are not to be overlooked. There is a little mirror that you can clip onto the end, and that is useful when you want to take a look at a 45 degree angle, and you can't flex this thing around the corner. So you put the mirror and you put the mirror right on the end, it lets you see at a 45 degree angle, kind of like a periscope. Um, there's also a magnet and a hook that we need to use it to reach down and grab something. Um, and then of course the color that holds everything on. We'll talk about that too. And I'm only gonna spend a few minutes on this particular model, mainly because the screen is so small, I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see much. I will say that the quality of the camera and the screens are just as good. This one's just a little bit smaller. The features are all also not as plentiful on this model as the other one. But if you just need a really good inspection camera to take a look at things, this may be your choice. It's, it's relatively inexpensive. I don't remember the prices on these guys, but I'll put links to them down below in the description. Now I have the uh, hydrogen generator on my workbench here. I did a video on that. I'll put a link down below for it too. But I want to show you what these tools are useful for. Now inside this generator is a canister and you do put a solution in it. And I want to take a look inside to see if anything's gummed up or what it looks like or does it look nasty or is it still nice and clean and that's where one of these cameras would be great for so I'm going to take the end of the camera you can see there's some LED lights on it and we're going to stick it right down into that canister and you can see on the bottom screen there that I can look inside and see what the parts and pieces are and everything looks great um, I wish you could really see what I'm seeing because I know some of the color is lost uh, with the video translation, but by my eyes, the screen is actually very colorful and uh, you can make out all little bits and pieces in here. But I think we're gonna end there with the review on this guy because there really isn't much more going on. Um, there is a brightness on the left and right side which just turns down the intensity of these LEDs so you can turn it off or increase that and make it brighter and brighter and brighter. So whatever you need there. And then the center button will allow you to basically flip the screen, rotate the screen for your orientation. So if you have the camera in upside down, you can flip it around and it'll flip the orientation. Now this is a little bit of a higher end model. Uh, again, the cameras are the same and the quality on the screen's the same. It's just this has a bigger screen and it also has some more features uh, such as you can put a memory card in it 
and you can record to that memory card. You can record videos and pictures and then use that memory card in your computer to actually take a look at what it's recorded. And we will give you a sample of that here in a bit. Uh, it also, you can upgrade the cameras. There's a couple other camera options. Uh, one of them is really, really small. Uh, and the other one's shaped a, a little different as well. Uh, but these are kind of the way to go. If you're a mechanic and you really need to take a look inside engines and things, uh, you could record maybe the scoring of those cylinder walls and then take that memory card to your computer and print it out and show your customers. Uh, or if you want to do some training, you can record the inside of whatever you're working on and then you use those in your demonstration when you're training. So that memory card feature may be something that you want and then the bigger screen is also a nicer option. Now you can see the screen on this particular model is so much bigger than the other one. It's very, very nice. We're gonna go down the very same rabbit hole we did before and take a look inside the uh, hydrogen generator tank. And as you can see, we can get a very good picture and view of all the little bits and pieces in there. And it's in good shape. And that's what we were after. We just wanted to take a look inside something without taking it apart to see how good it was. Now I do want to take a few moments and talk about some of the features that the Ames model has that the Syntec does not. And again, this is Ames model 64170 and uh, it's kind of Harbor Freight's higher end inspection camera. The first thing is the fact that you can put a micro SD card in the side. And that's you know obviously because you can record videos and camera pictures to it. Uh, underneath that is another port, it's a USB port. So if you don't have a way to read that SD card, you can plug it into your computer and it shows up just like a drive. Uh, there's the video out which is how we're displaying it on the TV and this unit did come with a 4 gig SD card already. The control panel is pretty simple to use. Uh, the top left flips the image so that if your camera is in at a wrong angle you can flip your view. Uh, the bottom left is a settings button. There's not a whole lot of settings. You can turn it into a black and white camera. You can format the media. And if you go into the advanced settings, you can set a date and time, which is kind of important because you might want to use a date and time stamp on some of your recordings. You can change the language. We're going to leave it in English. I can barely speak that, as all of you know by now. And then your TV out settings, which is just NTSC and PAL. So let's get back out of the settings and we'll go over here to this button, which is the play button. And when you press it, you can see that it shows you all of the pre-recorded images and videos that are on the SD card. Um, you can play the videos from here and you can look at the, the camera pictures as well. Press it again, it'll take you back out. And then the bottom right button shows you um, what mode you're in. So you can see up there we're in camera or we're in recording mode. That's why it looks like a little video camera. Press it again and it's just a camera. And underneath it shows you uh, how many still pictures you can take. And we have a minute and 52 seconds of video recording time. Now again, this is a small four gig card and this does record in high resolution videos. So uh, that's what you got with this. Um, the up and down is the zoom, so we can zoom in and take a really close look at something if we want to. And then the left and right is the intensity of the lights on the end of the camera. So I made mention of some of the tools that were in that little bag and, and they're kind of cool because it worked well with a camera. So there's a hook tool that allows you to reach down inside something and pick something up. But remember, you're watching it with the camera. So you have a really good view of what you're going in to reach for. And there's also a light on the end. So getting things that may have fallen inside a compartment is pretty easy with that hook. There's also a magnet uh, on a stick as well, same thing. You just use your camera to go in and grab it. Uh, but there's a 45 degree mirror that has bailed me out on a few occasions. Uh, this is really handy if you're looking at the walls of cylinders or something. It basically just allows you to look you know, sideways out the camera like a periscope and it works surprisingly well. So we'll take a look at our hydrogen generator here and you can see on the screen that uh, we're looking at the walls of the canister now, not the bottom. And that's because that mirror is clipped on the end. So both of these units are really good units. It just depends on the feature set that you're looking for. If you need to record those videos and want to review them with your customers or clients, then the aims with the higher end record features is the way to go. If you just want to take a look inside something and get a quick view to take some of the guesswork out, by all means, the Syntec is perfect for that. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos, and at the very least, you might be entertained.